Hello, good morning students. Welcome to India's online classes. And today in class 10th social science, we will do the lesson one of history, the rise of nationalism in Europe that, were, that we were doing before summer vacations. And today we will discuss the topic, the age of revolutions from 1830 to 1848 in Europe. The conservative regimes means uh, kingdoms that were based on old pattern of uh, society that were established during the Vienna Congress in 1815 after the defeat of Napoleon. They tried to consolidate their power. Apni power and the liberalism, people who believed in liberty and nationalism, people who were fighting for the independence of the country, national, nationalist feelings, they were came to be associated with revolutions in Europe. Matlab, liberalism or desh bhakti ka matlab tha, revolutions karna rajaon ke khilaf Europe mein. And many revolutions took place in Italian and German states, provinces of Ottoman Empire, different uh, states, different provinces of Ottoman Empire and in Ireland and Poland. And the people who participated in these revolutions were educated middle class elite, high class people, jo middle class se the, professors, school teachers, clerks and members of the commercial middle class. Vepari work ke jo log the, wo in revolutions mein shamil the. And the first upheaval, the first revolution that took place was in France in July 1830, in which the Bourbon kings, which were restored to power after the Vienna Congress, were removed by the liberal revolutionaries, and Louis Philippe was made the head of the country under a constitution. And as the Austrian Chancellor Metternich once remarked that when France sneezes, the rest of the Europe catches cold. Matlab, jab France ko chink aati hai, to pure Europe ko thand lag jati hai. Means whatever that happens in France is followed by peoples of other countries in Europe. And when first revolution took place in France, many revolutions were followed in different countries of Europe. The first one was in Belgium, where Belgium broke away from United Kingdom of Netherlands. United Kingdom of Netherlands se alag ho gaya tha revolutions karke. And also there is a great example of revolution in Greek War of Independence, where Greece was part of Ottoman Empire, which was a Muslim Empire. And Greek War of Independence started in 1821 where Greek people got support from the other Greek people which were living in other countries of Europe and also from West Europeans. West Europeans helped Greek people because they lauded Greece as the cradle of European civilization. क्योंकि वो प्रशंसा करते थे, तारीफ करते थे ग्रीस की कि वो यूरोपीय यूरोप की सिविलाइजेशन को सभ्यता को पालने वाला है, क्रेडल होता है पालना जिसमें बच्चे को झुलाते हैं उसका पालन पोषण करते हैं एंड द सेम वे ग्रीस के कल्चर, ग्रीक कल्चर, ग्रीक सिविलाइजेशन हैज गाइडेड द अदर कंट्रीज ऑफ यूरोप फ्रॉम द Lord Byron, the famous English poet, took part where he died in 1824 and finally in the Treaty of Constantinople in 1832, Greece was established as an independent nation and it broke away from the Ottoman Empire. So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day.